Hello. Welcome to episode 2 of Flutter Complete App Tutorial. In this episode, we are going to create a new Flutter project and implement our sign up and login screen. So, let's get started. To create a new project, we'll use terminal and use flutter create command. Create and we'll give the project a name. Flutter Notes app. Press enter. I'm using the latest version of Flutter, Flutter 1.9.1 Hotfix 4. So if you are not in the latest version, you can upgrade your Flutter just by running the Flutter upgrade command. Okay, so the new project has created. I can now do CD Flutter Notes app and I can open this app in Visual Studio Code. I have opened my Flutter Notes app project in Visual Studio Code. So you can use Visual Studio Code or Android Studio for following this tutorial. However, if you use the VS Code, it will be easier to follow. So now I'll start my emulator. Let me resize this screen. So first thing I'll do is I'll run the app. Okay, the app is building. During that time, let me remove these comments. Let me open pubspec.aml and again let me remove all of these comments. Now the app is successfully built and running. This is the demo app provided by Flutter when we do Flutter create. It's a counter app that counts the number of time we have pressed this button. So for this project, I'll just remove this whole my home page widget. Then change the title to Flutter Notes. And let's change this my home page to home page. And now it's time to create this home page. We'll just create a simple widget. Let me go to LIB. Let me create a new folder UI. In here, I'll create it another folder pages. And inside pages, I'll create home.dot. For now, I'll just use a simple stateless VZ. Extends stateless VZ and it will give us error. Let us implement the build function. Instead of return in all, we'll return a scaffold. Scaffold, and here we'll return app bar will be app bar title flutter notes and body let's just use a container center with child text mm -hmm. flutter okay. now in main dot we need to import 
so let's import UI pages home so okay our app has hot reloaded and we can see now flutter notes note app notes application in flutter in the center so this is this the demo page so first thing we'll do is we'll create our login page to do that in the UI pages inside pages let's create another folder called auth and in the auth folder let's create a new file login dot dot okay here again first i'll start with stateless widget i'll use the code snippet provided by awesome flutter widgets flutter snippets extension in vs code i'll provide the link in the description below so let's name it login page and instead of container we'll use scaffold and we'll not use the app bar we'll directly go to body and body will be a single child scroll view with a child of column column will take children here the first children will be our logo and then other widgets so first let me change this home page to login page so that we can see the preview login page okay we can now see the preview so here the first children will be our logo for logo for now we we'll just use a container container no child let's use decoration box decoration and let's give a color green and let's give it white let's give the scaffold a background color of green color Line color, light green. Okay, this this is better for our notes application, and this is colors dot white. Let's give a shape of box dot circle shape. Let's give it a circular shape, and let's give it a width of mm, let's say sixty point. And again, height of 60.0. Okay, so there we have it. Mm, we need to place this at center and this should come a little bit down, further down. So let's use a sized box. Sized box of height. Let's say, okay. Toolbar height. Okay, so we give the toolbar height, then it will take the amount of height taken by our app bar. So our logo is down further. So now let's make this 80. Okay, 80. So logo size is okay for now. And let me align this at the center. So to do that, I'll wrap this column with a new widget sized box and give it a width of double that infinity so it takes the whole width okay now again after the logo let's use sign in with google button so let's use a raised button raised button color should be colors the red child text let's make it continue with google and 
then on trust let's make it an empty function for now okay and text color colors are white nice so we need to install our buttons in the whole app in similar fashion to do that we'll use our theme so in theme first thing we'll change is our primary swatch would be color start green and let us provide our button with a theme button theme so it takes button theme data object and let's give it a color so button color should be so we'll use the primary color text theme mm, let's see button text theme dot primary and maybe shape so we provide the shape of rounded rectangle border border radius dot circular 30 so that our button is round circular and this is border radius so let's see what other properties are there focus color height minimum width padding so symmetric padding uh, no. let's use all side 16 point padding okay this looks bad button looks good to me so maybe let's use symmetric symmetric vertical 16.0 and horizontal 32.0 okay this this looks better so now here we need to provide a little bit of space between this logo and our continue with google button so here we we'll use a size box with height let's say 30 points yeah now after this we need a username and password field so first let's separate this again with size box of height let's say 30 points and here text field we'll use text form field so that later we can use form well to submit our uh, check validate our fields and submit our form so let's use text form field and decoration input decoration hint in text let's say text sorry it's a string in text is a string so this is email email address maybe instead of in text we'll use level so that we'll have a floating level okay so now we have a floating level now in the main dot dart We'll again install these text field widgets in our theme so that across the app we have a same feeling so input decoration theme input decoration theme object okay so let's say content padding so Content padding should be vertical 8, horizontal 16.0, and border. Let's use outline input border. Border radius start circular 4.0. Vertical padding, little bit more. I think we need 
all side padding of 16 all 16 yeah this looks better so okay good and then i think we used instead of green we used light green so let's not say any case light green okay so here we highlight border and everything is similar to the background color so it's not being visible so we'll change that a little bit later uh, so i think this is okay for now uh, for our input field so let's add some padding here so that this text field has some padding at the side so in our scroll view let's use padding all side padding of 16 points okay we can see the text field clearly and we prefer a scaffold background we'll use little bit lighter than this with opacity of 0 0.3 let's try this uh, okay so if we give the opacity it takes the dark black color of uh, nothingness so maybe instead of this what I'll do is this is okay we'll use the light green color but for our form from this and below let me wrap this in a container child column children so let me make this in here this box decoration color y radius that sort blood in front zero let's give it a padding of 16 So this is email address field. Let's duplicate this field and make a password field. Let's separate these two by a size box of hide 16. Okay. Looks good. Email password. We will style these level text. So let's say here level style text style color is fine. So font size 14.0. Oh, it's smaller. Let's use 18. Gray said let's say seven hundred six hundred hundred dot dot blue five hundred maybe maybe no Okay, so this is okay.
now we need a sign in button and a button that links to sign up page so in login let's add a size box size box height 20 and let's use the paste button text login contrast let's give it a empty and in text color i think instead of primary button text theme dot primary so maybe accent color will give us no primary so it's green and try here text color Login button. Maybe I'll use the sized box. I'll use container. Let's give a width of double dot infinity. And let's give a padding. Symmetric vertical padding should be zero, and horizontal padding should be thirty-two. Okay. So. As vertical padding is zero, we can just remove this. Okay, so I think this is better. And maybe before this email address field, we'll give a title here that says text here that says login. And we can install this with theme of context dot text theme dot display one okay yeah let's separate this with size box of height 20 okay so this is a pretty simple login form and maybe after this container here we'll use another button outline button if we use this okay so outline button child text sign up um, on fresh color and maybe colors white color Size, let's say one point zero. Okay, and maybe color, color start white. Highlight color, red color also. Maybe color start white. This one will show the text. So maybe text color. Let's leave it as black. Okay, and here let's separate by box size box of height 20. Okay, so 
we are almost done with the login screen but before we move on to sign up screen i'd like to make couple of adjustments the very first thing i'd like to do is i'd like to add a keyword action so that when a user presses that action in this email address field it moves to password field okay to do that we use focus node and the keyboard input action so first in email address text input action should be changed to text input action dot next doing this will change the button but it will do nothing so what we need to do is first we need to create a focus node so let me create a focus node focus node so password field and here in the password field i'll provide focus node as password field and in email address on input editing complete what i'll do is focus scope of context dot request focus password field okay so when i press the next the password field is highlighted and when i press done it's gone now what i'd like to do is instead of making a separate sign up page i would i just want to use this same page and just change this this portion of the form that login form into sign up form when i press this sign up button so to do that first i'll extract all of these part into a separate widget called login widget so let's see this part starts from k toolbar height this is logo and this is continue with google button okay so this is our login widget so in order to extract this in vs code i'll use control and dot shortcut key and then here i'll use extract widget this widget will be called login form okay let's just remove this field and this focus node should also be kept in login form so let me remove this from here let me copy this and in login form create this and i will not be using this okay so it should still do the same things yeah so we can do next okay now i'll create a separate sign up form to do that i'll just copy this login form i'll duplicate this login form because we'll have the same field just confirm password field will be added i have duplicated this and let me change this login form to sign up form and we'll use two focus node because after password field there will be confirm password field so here again i'll duplicate this line and make this confirm password field and i'll duplicate the password field okay and make this confirm password confirm password field as focus node and here in password field on editing complete 
okay cisco of context dot request focus confirm password field okay so let me for now here instead of login form i'll just use for now sign up so that i can see the preview okay so login text should be changed this is sign up okay sign up email address password and confirm password okay so this button should be create account okay so i have the sign up form now we need to be able to change this form based on this click when i click the sign up button initially it should show the login form and when i click the sign up button it should show the sign up form and here instead of sign up it should show back button okay to do that first what i'll do is i'll make this login page a stateful widget again control dot and convert to stateful we need to do hot restart because we have changed the widget into stateful and let me initialize something here abul abul sign in form and in init state Signing form is equals to true. Again, let me hot restart. And here, instead of sign up form, what I'll do is I'll use animated switcher. Switcher wizard. And this child should be if sign in form is true, then sign in login login form otherwise sign up form so based on the value of sign in form it will be it will have different and it needs a duration because it is a animated widget so i'll use the duration of milliseconds 200 okay and when a sign up button is pressed here i'll do set state log sig and sign in form is equals to false okay so when i press this i get sign up form but this button should also changed based on this based on the value of this sign in form boolean so here if sign in sign in form true then we go to sign up otherwise we use just oh sorry instead of text wizard i'll do out here sign in form is true then i'll use this text otherwise icon icon start arrow back okay i get the back icon and in on pressed again here sign in form should be not sign in form so when i do back goes to login when i do sign up goes to sign up one more thing we can do is on on will pop because if we do back hardware if we use hardware back button right here it will close the app instead of going back to login form so to fix that we'll use will pop scope so in the scaffold 
just wrap with new widget will pop scope and it takes on will pop here what I can do is so it's a asynchronous if sign in form if not sign in form then set a state sign in form is equals to true yeah. and return false else true so when I am in sign up form, when I use the hardware back button, it should go to login form. Okay, this works. So we are done with the design of login and sign up form. In the next episode, we will set up Firebase related plugins in our Flutter project will set up both the Firestore and Firebase authentication plugin before we move on to implementing the authentication service. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please in the comment provide your feedback or feature request or anything that you would like to add or design request that you would like to be tutored in this tutorial series. Thank you.